I had a super deep conversation about bread. I said whole wheat bread was healthier for you. She said white bread was healthier for you. Wolfgang must have heard about it somehow. He brought to set one loaf of wheat bread and one loaf of white bread. So the next morning I walked into my trailer and I found two loaves of bread on my desk with a note that proved that I was right. But he bought the wrong type of bread, so we still don't know. Sorry Shiloh, but I was right. I am probably still right, just saying. There was a lot of dancing on and off camera. 24 hours dancing, it was so fun. We were dancing our last dance on the stage. I got an opportunity to do the moonwalk and the worm. And I love my outfit and I can't believe I got to wear it. I got to do so much stunts, I got to go upside down. Well, Johanna and I stayed in the same apartment building, so we would go downstairs and practice some of the dances together. We would always help each other out, like with the dance moves or with the poses and just honestly make us all laugh. And the funniest thing was when Wolfgang was dancing. Wolfgang taught me how to do the chicken noodle soup. <laughs> chicken noodle soup with a soda on the side of lettering. I clear it out. He would always spend so much time with me and the other kids. He would always just teach us these random things. But it was so much fun. It was so fun. One of my favorite days that we spent together offset was on one Saturday that we had the day off and Wolfgang planned a picnic. We all brought like desserts and food and snacks and uh, we played games and there was actually music playing at the park so we listened to like this live concert and we danced and um, there was also a little section that had farm animals. So remember I was carrying Kai and we had all the girls and we picked flowers and put them in her hair and it was beautiful. We hung out a lot off set and we'd always go like to the Toronto Islands or parks or ferries and it's like the girl squad on set and off set. So when I first met all the girls, it was like a wall of positive, beautiful, young energy at, at my, my face. It was really special. Like at all times I had one girl on one arm and one on the other and another one on my lap. Sophia is an unbelievable leading lady. Not only just in talent, which is obvious, but in her grace and her poise. On set, she taught me a lot. Like, she taught me to be present for your other actors. She's just pretty much one of the most beautiful hearts I've ever met. Like, I think at first I thought I was suspicious of it. I was like, mm, I don't think anybody's that nice. She is. I will cherish every single moment that we shared, both on and off the set. They made me smile and they made me laugh hysterically, especially Jojo. Jojo just made us crack up. There's a scene where um, <laughs> so her character wears glasses and April <laughs> decides to tape the glasses to Jojo's face. So all of the outtakes from that day of me just being like, whoosh, cut, whoosh, cut. After every cut, she was like, oh my gosh, are you okay? That was weird. When we were filming the barn scene, there was a piano, and Sophia and the kids were singing Bohemian Rhapsody while I was playing the piano part. And she's this big and has the tiniest fingers, and yet in between takes, we'd all gather around the piano, and little Kai would play for us. It was, it was just precious. My favorite story from set was probably the day of the rain dance scene, when we were all soaked, and then we'd dry off a little bit and go back at it again, and it was just so fun. There were multiple times when I slipped and fell on my bum, like, bam. One time people thought that I actually got hurt, but I was just on the floor laughing my butt off. I think it was the day that we shot our finale number of the whole movie at the very, very end of the film. And coincidentally, it also happened to be the last day of filming for a lot of the cast, so it was like extra emotional because of that. And I feel like it's everyone's dream to have like a dance party in the streets. And we actually got to do that. We were dancing on the street. 
we were all together and we were dancing our hearts out. It felt like a celebration of what we had done. It was so much fun. It was just absolutely amazing and so fun. I can't believe I got to work on this film. I feel like the luckiest girl alive. Hey guys, it's Lisa here with a really cool list of three of the best classic movies to watch as a family. First up, The Sound of Music. Now, who could forget the Tinging Von Trapp family? Next up, Charlotte's Web, based on E.B. White's book, a classic about a spring pig named Wilbur who befriends a spider named Charlotte. And to close it out, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the one from 1964 with Gene Wilder, not the one with Johnny Depp. What's your favourite classic family movie? Let me know below. And remember to click down here to subscribe.